Good morning, folks. You are looking at Global Helioplots registering L waves ripped across the planet by a 6.8 earthquake that struck north of the Mariana Islands. This has hit 7.0 on three separate meters. We also had the Pavlov volcano rumbling a bit, raising the alert level to orange as they watch for ash cloud flight disruption. Top weather story is still the cyclone in the Bay of Bengal, nudging the East Indian coastline before a beeline for Bangladesh. Small thunderstorms here. The threats are accompanying the rain only around coastal areas. There are three cells currently affecting Europe, each hitting from a different direction. We got a few weather warnings on the meteoro alarm. North America looks at one big blue low that wants to spin counterclockwise, and a Gulf States red high that wants to go clockwise. Their convergence in the middle reinforces each other and drives north. Cold records being set east have heat records to look forward to in only a day or two. New gamma burst this morning from the Aquila constellation near the celestial equator. Umbral field, doing the twist and still looking beyond the ability to be forecasted. You will remember a CME was set to hit yesterday from a filament pop four days ago. It did indeed give our planet a nudge as it mostly missed Earth. The ACE telemetry here is the source for the magnetosphere simulation readings yesterday. Not just matching metrics, but the same raw data actually makes both this and the magnetosphere simulation. So here we are. All of a sudden, the Earth-facing quiet appears ready to take a week off like it did in March and July of 2012, where week-long upticks dazzled Healy observers. Each such flare here has a corresponding signature on our ionosphere. This extra magnetospheric effect indicates atmospheric heating at the upper layers and the first steps toward re-expansion from one heck of a solar minimum. I also managed to catch one of the X flares in progress yesterday and the corresponding radio blackout it caused over the United States. Now if you keep this chart in mind, let's look at the heliospheric particles. Low energy proton flux at Earth is common and nothing of concern. But when the high energy protons begin to rise, so does the level of dangerous radiation, and that is beginning now. It appears as radiation is integrated at the north and south pole here, as opposed to the flare degradation effects directly below the sun like before. But even here, you can still see that a current C flare registers low level degradation over the mid and lower latitudes, as well as those stronger polar readings. The Enlil spiral has not updated to include the last X flare, but you can see on the far right the splash almost touched the yellow dot in the middle. That's Earth. Any further blasts, including the one not yet updated, could impact, but they are likely to be weaker until a CME leaves closer to the center of the disk. Something interesting happened during the second X flare, the X2.8. Now while that spot screamed his lungs out on the left side, a filament beautifully releases from the western limb. We're going to watch that in slow motion later. The last X flare, largest of the group, X3.2, and it was powerful enough to disrupt surface magnetics half a million kilometers south of the sunspot group where a filament came off the limb in the wake of that coronal mass ejection. It is small, not headed for Earth, but it is important for remembering the trigger effect that eruptions have on other eruptions on the sun. We'll close out with SOHO and some more SDO courtesy of HelioViewer. As of now, the sun is calm. Any eruptions today begin to offer likely Earth impacts. Eyes open. No fear. It's 6.40 a.m. Eastern Time and that's the news. Be safe, everyone.